Welcome to the new Design Moto tutorial. To successfully implement the Design Moto UI elements into your design, you need to personalize the element to fit the style you want. To start, in our sample design, we will change the color of the button which we previously imported into our design. First, we detect the element Y clicking on it. This element contains three layers, and the bottom layer is the color and the shape of the element. By double-clicking on it, the Layer Style panel appears, and we can see that the gradient overlay is checked. We click on it, and then click the Gradient Selector to edit the existing gradient. In the Gradient Editor, we have a palette of presets that we can use, but in most cases, we want to make our own gradient which we are going to use. This is a simple gradient made from the shades of colors that are in the specter of colors between the left and the right color. By double-clicking the color square, we get the option to change it. There are a lot of ways to choose the color that will be good for our design, but now we will use the fastest and most simple way. We move the radio button to H, Hue, and the value of Hue can be between 0 and 360 degrees, and that is a full circle which represents the entire color spectrum. We adjust the Hue to 0 degrees, and that is the red color, and leave the other parameters like they are. We do the same thing for the other color in the gradient. This action saved the 3D look that the Design Moto UI Elements Pack has, but we changed the color. The important thing now is to save the gradient we made as a preset so that we can always use it when we work on our design. First we name it, click on New, and the preset is created. Now we can apply the preset to the other elements. We continue to work on our design, so we move these elements to the top part of the document. Now, we can personalize the text on the buttons by using the Text tool. Let's make the first button Home, and now that we change the text, it remains on the left side of the button. If we try to move it, the whole button moves. We solve this problem by adjusting the Move tool so it automatically selects layers and not groups. Now we can move the text separately. We repeat this on the rest of the buttons. To show the other possible transformation, F, the elements we will use the Square UI Elements Pack. We detect the element that shows the weather and drag and drop it into our design. Now we have to adjust it visually. F, E, turn off the auto select so we can move the groups that are inside other groups. We move the weather icon up. Now we adjust the width of the upper selection to the lower one. Auto select is turned off the whole time because we are working on single elements that are inside the group. And select the elements directly from the layer panel.
Now that we've finished that, we can adjust the color of the box to the temperature of the design. Double-click the layer in the layer style. We choose Color Overlay, and then click the color square. With the eyedropper, we select the shade that we like. Then click OK, and the element is adjusted. Now we will add a row of icon under the button. We detect the desired element and drag and drop it to a new document. By using the Move tool, we adjust the icon container size. We turn off the Auto Select to manipulate the elements inside the group. First we select the Add Group in the Layer panel, and then move the Add button to the end. One icon remains under the container, we select it also and move it to our row. By simply holding down the Control Windows Users or Option Mac User and dragging it with the mouse pointer, we duplicate the selected element. We repeat this action until we fill the container. The space between the element and the vertical alignment are not good. We solve this by selecting all the elements we want to adjust, and by clicking the Distribute Horizontal Centers and the Align Vertical Centers, we adjust the elements. Now we move them to be aligned with the container, and we are done. Thank you for your attention.